Hi, welcome. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at sampling methods. So without wasting much time, let's start. Now, it is important to know that we have two sampling methods. The first one is probability sampling method, and the second one is non-probability sampling method. The probability sampling method is also known as random sampling method. And the non-probability sampling method is also known as non-random sampling method. But this tutorial is only going to focus on the probability sampling method. Okay. Now, when we say probability sampling method, for this, every member of the population has a chance of being selected in the sampling. Okay. When you are taking sample, every member of the population has a chance of being selected. Now, we have four probability sampling methods, okay, and they are simple random sampling method, and the second one is systematic random sampling method, the third one is stratified sampling method, and the fourth one is cluster, okay, so we are going to take them one after the other. Now, when we talk about simple random sampling, for this, elements are randomly selected from the population now we have many ways of what of performing simple random sampling but i'm going to show you some two formal ways of doing it and then at the end of the video i'll show you how to use microsoft excel and theta to uh, to select your sample to to perform simple random sample the first method is let's say you want to know the opinion of regional ministers in ghana on the current discrepancies in parliament on the mobilization and allocation of the COVID fund. Now, there are 16 regions in Ghana, meaning there are 16 regional ministers. Okay, then you would like to take a sample of four of them. Okay, using probability sampling, that's a simple random one. Now, you can take a paper and cut it into 16 pieces. Okay, then you number the regions. So, I have decided to number the regions in this manner. You can number it anyhow you want to. So, Volta region is number one, Greater Accra region is number two, going. Okay, then the 16 pieces of paper you write one two three up to 16 fold it properly you can place them in a box mix them together then you select your sample of four from the population of 16 one after the other to get the what the four sample you need then you interview those regional ministers okay now another way of performing simple random sampling is by using the table of random numbers so i have two tables here now to use the table of random numbers you number your population as well okay so i have a population of 16 so i've decided to number them from 1 to 16. now the highest one is a two digit number so for that matter i want to make all the single digits which is one two three up to nine also two digits and you know that one is the same as zero one two is the same as zero two okay if the highest one is in three digits like 750 you can make this zero zero one zero zero two zero zero three going and then the 10 will be 010, 011, 012, going, okay. That is if your population is up to three digits number, okay. Now, to use a table of random numbers, you can close your eyes and place your hand on one of the numbers. So, let's say I select this. Now, you see that there are five digits here, okay. But I'll just use the first two digits because my numbering is just two digits, okay. So, I'll use the first two digits which is 08 now after selecting this then you can decide to move horizontally or vertically okay but let me move vertically then you see now when i move to the next one the next one is 90 my population is not up to 90 so i skip this 23 i skip it 610 so my population is up to 16 so i select this as my second sample then 53 no 51 skip it 33 skip it 80 skip it 02 then i select this as making it three samples so i'm left with one sample right then when you move to the next one 18 skip it 49 skip it 76 skip it 10 then this will be your fourth sample so we have 8 16 2 and 10 so let's check them 8 is northern region 16 is half region 2 is Greater Accra region and 10 is Upper West region. So you interview the regional ministers of those selected regions. Okay. Now you can also decide to move horizontally. So if this is your first selection, the next one is 20. So skip it. So then you select it. 
second sample 35 skip it 67 skip it 69 skip it 10 so this is your third sample then you move to the next row okay so 97 skip it 27 skip it 90 skip it 0 2 so this is your fourth sample so we have 8 12 10 and 2 okay so 8 12 10 2 so 8 northern region 12 bono east region 2 is greater Accra region and 10 is upper west region okay so you interview the regional ministers of those places now when you close your eyes and then select a number this 51 since 51 is not part of your numbering you skip it and then move on okay now you can also use this table you can close your eyes and select one of the numbers so let's say i choose this 13 you can also check your time as at the time you want to select the sample if your time says let's say 2 3 a.m or 2 3 p.m you can just say column 2 row 3 to get your first sample okay so 13 is my first sample 13 falls within 1 to 16 so i select it as my first if it's not part i skip it and move on okay so let me move horizontally here now 41 skip it 30 skip it 56 skip it 20 skip it let's move on then i move to the next row 19 skip it 2 so 2 is my second sample 69 skip it and i move on 16 then i pick it so this is the third sample okay now 00 is not part of my number so i skip it then 14 so i've gotten a sample of what 4 13 2 16 and 14 and interview them i can also move vertically so let me move vertically for you to see now i've gotten first sample right so let's move on so this is the second sample 12 27 we skip it 75 skip it 95 skip it 62 skip it let's move on 13 now look at this 13 has been selected already okay now depending on the type of sampling you are doing if your sampling is with replacement then you can choose the 13 again but if it is without replacement you don't choose the 13 again let's say if your research is such a way that you can't interview one regional minister more than once okay if you can't interview one regional minister more than once then you need to skip this thirteen. but if you are allowed to interview one regional minister more than once in your sample then you can choose the thirteen again but i am skipping it i don't want to interview one regional minister more than once that is twice thrice going no I don't want to do that so i skip the 13 because i have one already so we skip it 31 skip it 6 then i select 16 okay i select 16 too so now i have my four sample 13 12 6 and 16 so 13 12 6 and 16 so 13 is northeast region 12 is bono east 6 is savannah region and 16 is half region so you interview the regional ministers of those areas so that is it so let's look at the second one known as a systematic sampling now for the systematic sampling it is such a way that every cave term in the population is selected and this is how we do it now you take the entire population capital n okay divided by your sample size small n okay now if the population size is 500 then you write 500 then my population size is 16 because i have 16 regions okay so i use 16 then you divide it by now i need a sample of four okay so 16 divided by four now 16 divided by four will give you what four so it means that i'm selecting every fourth position fourth position now to select every fourth position this is what we do now you go back to your number now for the first four regions you use a simple random method to get the first one among this first four so you can use a table of random numbers or you cut four pieces of papers and write one to four on it then fold it and get one of them randomly just one now let's say i get central region as my first one okay now what you're going to do is that you move four steps away that is the fourth year 
the answer I've gotten here. Okay. So you move four steps away from the first sample. So we count one, two, three, four. So the second sample becomes Western region. And I move four steps away again. One, two, three, four. So that is upper east region. And I move four steps away. One, two, three, four. So that is western north region. So I've gotten central region, western region, upper east region, and western north region. So I interview the regional ministers of those areas. So that's how to perform the systematic sampling. Let's look at the next one known as stratified sampling. For stratified sampling, the population is divided into groups of similar characteristics known as strata. Okay. Now you can divide the population of students on campus into male and female. Then you divide the male into group of students who like ice cream and those who do not. And then the female into those who like ice cream and those who do not. So now we have four groups. That is males who like ice cream, males who do not like ice cream, females who like ice cream, and females who do not like ice cream. That is four groups. So let's say you need a sample of 40 students. Okay. Then you take your sample of 10 from each of the four groups to form your sample of 40. Now, to get your sample of 10 from each group, you have to use the simple random method to get 10 from the first, 10 from the second, 10 from the third, and 10 from the fourth one also. Okay, you use simple random method to do that by using your table of random numbers, or you can use the paper method too. Okay, then let's look at the last one here known as the cluster. So this one, the population has been divided already by naturally occurring situation. So you use all the members in one of the what of the division as a representative of the other. Then you question them. So we'll end this here for now. Do want to subscribe to the channel so that when we post the next topic or other important videos, you can easily see them. Thank you.